Well, Shakespeare Behind Bars is a Shakespeare program actually conducted by the inmates and uh, they put on productions for the staff and uh, for the public and for the other inmates. And, uh, as a result of that, we had a documentary called Shakespeare Behind Bars that did quite well and brought a lot of attention to uh, prisons and what happens in prisons and what happens to incarcerated men. Kind of showed uh, um, men who've done some horrible things in a, uh, in a human light. For the guys who participated, it probably brought some self-realization that they didn't, uh, they didn't have. I mean, people come to the prison setting aside the crime and why they were there, setting aside why they were there. They, they come to prison as probably the lowest part in their life. And, and getting involved in something like Shakespeare that's, I mean, Shakespeare and convicts doesn't mix. Uh, probably some realization and then for the programs that they put on for the other inmates brought some realization for them and then maybe through the documentary we kind of informed the public a little bit about what what it's really like. I always count it uh, Shakespeare as an educational program and, and uh, forgive me I forget who said it but uh, education not filling a pail it's lighting a fire so that was my appreciation of Shakespeare and, and the documentary, you know, prisons are kind of closed facilities and closed institutions that kind of opened it up a bit and give uh, people walking around out on the street a peek inside of what can happen. I think there's a changing in, in uh, mindsets, uh, you know, the, all over the United States we're trying to figure out how to get people out of prison now. So that's. And I, I think Shakespeare was a small part of that. You could see what's happening, but uh, I, yeah, I, I think there's some changes, long overdue.